I come up with this idea. I was craving peanut butter cookies, but I also was craving chocolate cake. And I posted that on Facebook, and I was kind of joking around about it. And in one of them, I was like, you know, the I've got like four different recipes that is a chocolate peanut butter cookie, and it just doesn't really have the taste that I'm after. It either is weak on the peanut butter or it's weak on the chocolate. And I've tinkered around with all four recipes, and I just never could really get something I liked. So then I was joking around, and I said, oh, maybe I'll just make a uh, chocolate cake and use peanut butter for the icing. And, you know, then a little bit later, I was like, or maybe I'll make a peanut butter cookie with chocolate icing. So that's what I am setting out to make, and uh, I don't really have a recipe for this. I have several peanut butter cookie recipes, and I have several chocolate icing or frosting recipes, and, you know, we're experimenting, so here we go. I'm going to try to remember to do these in both cups and grams. Generally, when I bake, if I have the weighted measure, that's what I prefer to use. Three grams of baking powder or three quarters of a teaspoon. I'm just going to add that in with the flour. And then you're going to want to whisk that together. Then you're going to set this aside. Okay, so for this next step, you're going to want a half cup of butter, which is 113 grams, a half cup of brown sugar, which is 100 grams, and then a half cup of granulated sugar, which is also 100 grams. So once you have this weighed out, you're going to take your bowl that has your butter, your granulated sugar, and your brown sugar. You're going to add that to your mixer. <laughs> 250 grams of peanut butter or one cup and add that to the mixer and just to let you know i also just got a tornado warning take shelter notice on my phone so uh, i'm not sure how this is going to work out but i really want these cookies <laughs> Next, you're going to add one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract to the mixer. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your flour and baking soda mixture and add it. And I will usually scrape down the side of this a time or two. Okay, folks, the oven just went off. Let me go ahead and clear it off. Again, you want to go ahead and pull these out, even if they don't look done, and leave them on the tray for several minutes until they cool down or they're almost all the way cooled down. That will allow them to firm up. I did not get destroyed by any tornadoes and while this is continuing to bake internally on top of the stove it is still pretty warm 
we are going to go ahead and start on the chocolate icing. Close enough, 78 grams, close enough. All right, so after your milk, after, after your butter is melted, you're gonna add one third cup of milk to your melted butter. You're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Then you are going to add two thirds cup of cocoa and two and two thirds cup of powdered sugar alternating and stirring with the butter until they are mixed in the thickness that you want your icing to be. I can usually tell by how that's dripping or if it's runny, how it's going to be. I think it needs a little more sugar yet. Like I said, this started as a joke. I was craving peanut butter cookies or chocolate cake and then I was like ah, it'd be cool if I could combine those and again I've got numerous recipes that have chocolate peanut butter cookies but I don't really care for them it's like the the peanut butter is weak or the chocolate is weak see how we right there I think we're, I'm going to call that good, I think. I mean, it could be maybe just a little thicker, but this is actually pretty hard to stir up in this bowl. I think that'd be all right. But now what we have to do, we have to wait on the peanut butter cookies to be totally cool to the touch before we put this on there. All right, folks, I didn't really have a way to spread the icing on the cookie, so I just dribbled it on there. And uh, this will take several more minutes for this to set up. Again, I am a cookies need to be eight, not look pretty type of guy, so way more icing left over than I needed. I'm going to try to stick it in the refrigerator and use it for something else maybe tomorrow or the next day. But I was basically going by an icing recipe I had for, like, chocolate cake, so... Um, anyways, so hopefully this sets up and I'll bring you back if I don't eat them all later. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Y'all have no idea. I done scarf these down. The, the icing hasn't even set up yet because one, the cookies are still warm. And so technically the cookies aren't done yet either, but I just couldn't wait.